I'm Jordan Shade with Groovy Yeah, and I am going to tell you in regards to something very interesting there. Let's talk about Loblaws, as um, Loblaws has today announced its plan uh, to pilot a new concept, value-based, uh, no-name uh, store in Ontario markets. In three Ontario markets, it said the no-name store will help customers save up to 20% on everyday grocery and household essentials by lowering operating costs and carrying only a, a targeted assortment of products. The no-name store is piloting in three markets in Ontario beginning in September 24, Windsor, St. Catharines, and Brockville. I'm going to read you something from President and CEO of uh, Loblaws. Per bank. It says, our goal is simple, providing food and essential household items across a limit range of national brands and no-name brand products at our lowest possible price, said Perbank President and CEO Loblaw. Since food inflation took off globally, we have been laser-focused on doing what we can to keep prices lower for customers, including opening more discount food locations in more parts of the country. This new test concept allows us to pass on lower prices to our customers. It's, it's a completely different and simplified shopping experience, end quote. The company said no-name stores are reducing operating costs through a variety of ways, including shorter operations hours, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Smaller assortment means the store is less complicated to run, limited marketing, and no flyers. No refrigeration, no dairy or fresh meat products. Reused fixtures, shelves, cash lanes to minimize building costs. Fewer weekly deliveries, reducing logistic costs. Quote, our commitment to customers is that products is at the no-name store will be up to 20% less than regular retail price on comparable products at any of the four main discount grocers in that local area. These no-name stores will have a limited selection of 1,300 products, but these are many of our top-selling pantry staples and household goods throughout the province, so we know they're what customers buy most and what will bring them the biggest savings, said Melanie Singh, President Loblaw's hard discount division. This is a test and learn project and we're planning to listen and, and adjust quickly. The pilot is uncharted territory and while success isn't guaranteed, our commitment to creating value and meeting customers remain remain um, the the, uh, the same there. Remains unwavering. Uh, okay, so Loblaw said customers can expect a small range of frozen food items complemented by pantry st staples, household necessities, and shelf stable bakery and produce items including bread, bagels, apples, bananas, peppers, and carrots. Um, this is going to be very interesting because they're um, uh, because uh, they're also looking uh, to they're also looking to going up. I got a really interesting quote here. It says uh, the quote starts as it's an intriguing strategy for Loblaws. The the company is clearly n no longer concerned about. Um, 
cannibalizing itself and seems to be targeting the Dollarama and Giant Tiger market in similar areas. This is an aggressive move forward, said Sylvan uh, Charlie Boss, professor and senior director of Ante Food Antilytic Labs and Dollhouse University. Here's another quote. I'm not sure if it will be successful, but law law is targeting the non-urban market, which has been somewhat under undeserved compared to major urban centers like Toronto, Montreal, or Vancouver. Only time will tell, end quote. This is pretty interesting there. So Loblaws is basically, Loblaws Companies Limited is Canada's food and pharmacy leader as well as its largest retailer and private sector employer with over 1 billion transactions each year in its network of the 2,500 stores and national e-commerce options. Lob Blah brings food, pharmacy, beauty, apparel, and financial services to customers through many brands. President's Choice, No Names, Loblaws, Shoppers, Drug Mart, No Frills, Real Canadian Superstar, TNT, Joe Fresh, PC Fresh, and PC Financial. The the company's loyalty program, PC Optimate, has been more than sixteen million has more than sixteen million active members. Now this should send a message that you shouldn't have to cut back. And it's um, I'm not sure if this is really good business sense on Loblaws or what to make of this because Loblaws has been um, literally they have been um, like uh, this um, this uh, the the other guy there I forget the other uh, CEO there who's been on um, uh, Capitol Hill there in Ottawa. He he's been fighting uh, Weston. I think his name is a Weston uh, Galen. Um, yeah, uh, Galen Weston. That's it. Uh, and his superstore. He's in charge of superstore. So for this approach to take place, and he's been telling uh, them that the it's the. Price of cost that is going up there is actually a ridiculous business motto to go by. Why I save that is this could actually have a backlash because, um, you know, I, I, I've i never, I mean, Galen Weston tried to tell Jagmeet Singh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Pierre Pali up there, the opposition leader of the Conservative Party there, that prices were going up, yet there was a price gouge. And so governments had to give money to people all across Canada. I think they gave a rebate of just a little over $200 to uh, everyone there. It actually depended upon your income. There are boats. Um, I know some people who received $13 in a uh, rebate. I know some people who received $100, $50, $200, the full amount. Um, I even know someone who, who, who even was making, who was rich, a million dollars and got thirteen hundred dollars back in a rebate. How is that so? What business sense of a model is that? So when when um, Galen Weston and Walmart CEO and other CEOs went on there, they were trying to basically tell the government that they need to do more. Now they are trying to solve the issue there in Ottawa and trying to make it more affordable for Canadians across that. Prime Minister Trudeau has been lashing out at these CEOs. But Superstore, real Canadian Superstore, um, Galen Weston, is really, uh, he, he he bought himself, uh, you know, he bought himself some new cars. He bought himself some new stuff there. And they marked up the prices of a very good, sizable amount of margins. Not needing to, as the prices in the pandemic went down, they didn't go up. And it wasn't because of shipping, and it wasn't because of that, or, or the stores there. It was that they could. So they, they took that advantage and did so. So is this a really good business model? Should we actually be listening to Loblaws? Because what's next? Is Galen Weston going to come out and say, oh, we're going to do everything we can because they're associated, Loblaws, uh, Real Canadian Superstore, it's all together there. 
So per bank, who is in charge of this, why didn't he then come out and say, uh, you know, we will do everything we can to lower? Instead, he let Galen Weston go on Capitol Hill in Ottawa and try to feed us some kind of horribly feta cheese and shove it down our throats when in, when in, in, insisting that prices were going up when they weren't. And it showed. CBC did a huge thing explaining that the prices were going down, but it was the stores that kept raising it. So is it a wage fix? So by getting rid of dairy, by getting just items that people need, everybody's need is different. And sometimes, uh, you know, people have, uh, you know, it's, they have to eat certain foods. So, I mean, if you're going to have Chef Boyardee, what happens if somebody is allergic to Chef Boyardee, ravioli, a spaghetti? Um, you know, maybe, uh, you know, some people are allergic to some of the um, lemonade stuff there. We don't know what they are, but all I can say is uh, I, I, I'm i not really... When I, when, when I was reading this story earlier, I was going, this is just... I mean, is this a is is this really a good uh, model to be following? I mean, like, I mean, we know that they've been in the news and they've been, uh, you know, raising their prices. There, you can't get the the cheapest steak that used to cost eight dollars more than ten plus years ago. There now costs us for the exact same horribly tasting steak uh, for more than thirty dollars. That's terrible. And the portions have gone down. You're literally, you're starving. You need, you need, you need like basically two or three uh, just to get your appetite uh, to where it is. So I'm, I'm very much uh, not in focus. And I, I, I don't know just if per bank understands uh, that by coming out with this move, if this is actually going to be a game saver for uh, Loblaws since that Galen Weston has been preaching a different uh, to the to the wrong choir actually because the wrong choir is not I mean a, a store for savings I mean no name a store for savings there I, I mean I don't know I don't feel that I don't necessarily um, get the the whole concept in what they're trying to gain out of this, because I don't think that people are going to be buying into this there. People are actually looking at other ways to save there. And once they do come in and they get those items that are needed uh, and that are we going to be fed again another horrible dose of uh, something else there? I mean, uh, another bad stew or a soup that is served there, or I don't know, maybe a bad chicken? Uh, I mean, like, once they do, they're going to start to raise it again there. Once they see that more people are buying it, they go, aha, perfect. We know exactly what they're buying. They're buying this barbecue chicken. They're buying this pork. They're buying this cold salad. Let's just raise the price a little bit more and and that because uh i mean you can only you know um fool me once shame me twice but you know that's it the third time you're that's you're gone and uh i mean galen weston had 900 items at real canadian superstore but only had it for one month thinking that the prices were going to go down and that the soaring costs were going to curb I, I don't necessarily buy into this, and I'm not buying into, uh, you know, a st the, this thing is a, a store of savings, blah, blah, come get your no-name brands at a good low price there. Uh, I'm, I'm just not. I, I think I'm going to pass on this. Um, and as consumers, um, we have to think about what we've been hearing and the amount of bullshit uh, that um, has been has been uh, said, and Canadians, we're not stupid people, all right. Uh, you know, like during the pandemic, forcing us to wear masks, uh, having only six in a store, six six centimeters away from each other, there, uh, having a limit in a store of how many you can have there is it, just uh, the the amount of uh, poor 
garbage. Um, and it, it's not very a well business sod plan to be, and it's not a model that we should all be saying, oh yeah, let's just let's just follow Loblaws. This is not the place to be doing that. This is not how you treat your customers who've been coming there by slapping them, raising the prices there, and having selective bagels and breads and things like that. Uh, I'm not buying that. I like to have the assortment. I like to go in there to see, and I like to compare prices um, from no-name brand to name brand. Sometimes the name brands are actually cheaper than the no-name. The no-name, you can control the prices there and dictate the, 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 what the... Um, with like a craft dinner, I mean, I, I, I just don't, I'm not. What they're saying is they're trying to cover up their ass, and what they're trying to do is let us to believe that you know we can now trust Loblaws again and real Canadian superstore there, and let's let's uh, not let's put the uh, the bullshit that Galen Weston has been feeding us up on Capitol Hill. They're like. I believe they're going to be having another meeting when they go back into Parliament in um, in late. I'm not sure if it's late September, October. I wasn't I wasn't quite sure there. I think October, uh, you know. But when they go back into Ottawa, um, they're going to see. And I, I'm curious to see what the uh, newer bullshit story uh, that Galen Weston is going to come up. And I wonder if he's going to bring up that, hey, oh, Loblaws, we have this no name. It's a store for savings for our customers. You go there and you can save money and get this for 90 cents or whatever, 80 cents. Or, but really, you know, we're, we're only getting it for 20 cents or so. We're making a major profit. And then once they once you do that, then they're going to start to raise the um, the prices. Um, I, I'm just I'm just my my way of thinking is. Let's support the mom and pa shops. Let's shop around. Look for the best deal. Not always is Superstore or Loblaws cheaper. Certain things are. Shop around. Uh, look for apps and see what there is there. And um, l let's not buy into this whole no-name garbage. I'm Jordan Shade with Groovy Yeah telling you about this business sense plan that to me does not make any sense about Loblaws is just going to be cutting back and having certain products uh, for you.